my channel my name is aria rashida if you are new and if you are a returning subscriber as always thank you guys so much for tuning in and supporting your girl this is the video that so many people have been waiting for y'all we are finally going to get into all things travel nursing everything that you will need to know before pursuing travel nursing before deciding that you want to be a travel nurse y'all okay. i do have some notes in my phone so how did i get into travel nursing I had quite a few friends that had took the leap and y'all it was the end of 2021 I was pretty burnt out I was tired I was exhausted and I was like it was time it was time to make that leap if you know me I'm always moving around like that's just me like I never sit still always been adapting to different environments so I'm pretty okay with doing that I'm pretty okay with being away from home like you know that's regular for me so I decided at the end of last year or at it's a new year now at the end of 2021 that we were going to start the process of trying to get out of staff nursing at least full time and start traveling so i will say like my process was not super easy at first it was a little bit stressful because finding agencies it's a lot of research you have to do on your own trying to see what agencies are right for you trying to see like what cities you want to go to you might want to go to a city but there may not be jobs available in your specialty there there are several 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 agencies that you can work with as a travel nurse so basically when you're trying to make that leap um for me personally i went down to prn which is as needed um, i just changed my status at the hospital that i was full-time at i went down to prn so i didn't quit per se but i just changed my status um, so that I can work less shifts a month as my requirement just to have a safety net. Like I said, I had a couple friends that were in the game already. So I asked them, you know, who they worked with, et cetera, et cetera. And, but a lot of it is you doing your own research and you kind of gaining your own perspective and gauging things for yourself. I am currently on my fourth travel contract. Oh. With that being said, the first step is you need to gauge and do your research, shop around with these agencies. You may find assignments on one agency website that have significantly higher rates. That same job on a different website may have a significantly lower rate. So that's why I always say don't just see something and jump on it. Shop around. In my personal experience, I have worked with Aya Healthcare, Triage Staffing, Host Healthcare, and Trusted Health. However, I had made profiles with a lot of other agencies like Nomad Health, RN Network. I think it's like travel nurses across America. So that's a little free game. Shop around, definitely do your research, and make sure that you are getting paid your work. A good thing to note is that if you are going to a different city where you don't have family and you know that you will have to find housing, you want to make sure that your rate is going to be substantial enough where you can actually see profit but also pay for living and housing expenses for me personally i have kept my apartment here in atlanta the whole entire time that i've been working so i've had to pay my rent here and then wherever i was traveling i had to really consider the housing aspects because two rents two crazy rents you know you want to make sure that you're profiting money you don't want your expenses to be more than what you're profiting okay major 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 key and that's just not for travel nurses that's just for in life like make sure that <laughs> in any any area any field that you're working in like you never want your expenses to be more than what you're making for me i kind of always chose places where i knew that i had some type of connection whether that's family family friends where i could stay with them my second contract was in virginia i stayed with family friends i did pay them but it was very like minimal because you know they didn't they weren't about to charge me crazy amounts of money. It was great. My third assignment I did right here in Atlanta. I wanted to be local. I had been traveling like half the year and I really just wanted to be in my own bed. So I stayed in Atlanta and I worked here. I actually worked at a hospital that I was previously um, employed at full time. That was my first nursing job. They did not give me a stipend because I was under the 50 mile minimum that will, con that will qualify you as a traveler. So let me get into that real quickly. So you have your hourly rate and then you get your housing and your, um, I guess, meal, you get a stipend that you're also getting weekly. So you're getting your hourly rate, which is taxed, of course, and then you get your stipend, which is untaxed money. So every week, 
in addition to your hourly, you're getting your stipend. As long as you work your three shifts, if that's your contract, you will get your stipend for those three shifts that you have worked. When you do not work a shift, like let's say you were to call out or whatever the case is, you don't get your stipend for that shift. You have to work for those stipends. You can dictate what you want to do with your stipend. Most nurses will keep that stipend, as much of that stipend for themselves. It's guaranteed every week um, in addition to your hourly rate, which is going to be taxed. Let's say $3,200 a week. Out of that $3,200, you know that $1,600 you're getting your stipend. $1,600 is your untaxed stipend. That means that the other $1,600 dollars that's included in that thirty two hundred dollars is going to be your hourly taxed so whatever your hourly is it's taxed according to per the percentage of the state that you're working in and so you'll get the net of that but you will get your guaranteed sixteen hundred dollars that's the stipend if that makes sense for most agencies most jobs to be considered a traveler you have a local traveler and you have like a true traveler which is over 50 miles some jobs i've seen you have to be over 75 miles but usually for most jobs you have to be over 50 miles from the facility fourth contract the one that i'm on now is in new york so i'm back at my mom's and like i said great i'm able to save a lot of money i'm loving it i'm loving now, it. now some of these contracts you will have day shift you will have night shift i will say you can find day shift positions However, a lot of um, travel contracts are night shift positions. Day shift positions do go really quickly. So I am usually a day shift girl. I don't know, I'm not a night owl, but I'm doing night shift on this specific contract. Um, a big thing that does come with travel nursing is insurance concerns. Your agency can provide medical dental vision benefits. When I was on my first two assignments, I was receiving benefits from those two agencies. However, it just didn't seem smart to me because I was always switching agencies because like I said, I like to shop around. I'm not just gonna stay with an agency because like, I decided to get private insurance and um, that's been the best decision ever. So I have private insurance with Blue Cross Blue Shield. So it's been great, like, wait, speaking of, but that was pretty much my route with insurance. Like I said, agencies do supply insurance for you and your family if you need it. Once you are contracted with the agency, they will send you all the benefits information and the enrollment process for that. Housing. So, like I said, housing, I always, when I'm looking for assignments, I kind of just think about places that would be easy for me to be housed <laughs> without spending a pretty 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 penny resource for finding housing though has been um furnished finder i know some people do airbnb airbnb can get really really costly furnished finder is really good though a lot of travel nurses that i do know have used it and they'll rent a room they'll rent a basement whatever it is an apartment um from whoever and usually these people are pretty reliable sources like i said i'm very iffy like i just ugh. It just kind of scares me to really embark on that but i've had friends that have done it they've had pretty good experiences that you can do short-term housing like at a lot of those like um like short-term rental facilities if you guys know what i mean for like business people or travel nurses or whatever the case is like temporary housing you can do that some people stay in hotels whatever works for you do what works for you so i'm going to get into some of the pros of travel nursing what i've really enjoyed all the blessings that have come out of it and then we're going to talk about the not so great things so first and foremost travel nursing has been a humongous it's been a blessing it's been a blessing to say the least it's great to be in a position where there's some surplus and you know i think about my future i think about investing you know i'm having more financially fit conversations about what to do with my money how to properly invest it so i will say that that part has been really really great um in terms of just making more money making significantly more money um feeling like you're being paid your worth listen to be a nurse especially in this time right now during the pandemic post pandemic it has been very very stressful it's not easy at all 
there's a lot of burnout hospitals are short staffed you know we are working harder than we've ever worked y'all nurses have to take on the roles of so many other people in the hospital because every department is short staffed it's like insane it's a hard time to be in the medical field it really is so it's nice to know like listen if i'm gonna work like a dog i want to get paid okay so and it's so crazy because i tell people all the time like on my assignments i've literally had such a great experience like i haven't been working like a dog so i will say the pros obviously financial stability being able to you know just afford nicer things afford a better lifestyle and just being comfortable like oh of course you you're learning a lot so that's another pro you go to all these different facilities you have to learn a new charting system you have to learn you know new policies and procedures it's so many different things so it kind of makes you more of an experienced nurse when you are a traveler get your experience first and then go travel because when you do go travel there is an expectation that you are going to jump in and jump in quickly usually most facilities you'll get one day of training one day of training with a preceptor and you're expected to be on your own like seriously luckily i have been on assignments where they'll give me like two two to three days of training um which is nice but really and truly a lot of it is really just seeing how their flow is my specialty is postpartum postpartum is it's pretty straightforward and it's pretty you know like universal like the care is pretty much like the standard of care everywhere in terms of what we do for taking care of the moms and babies but like policies are different like how things are done are different as much as you would think mother baby would be the same it, there's a lot of difference i'll say like the two biggest cons <sighs> being a, being away from home being away from home sucks like it definitely does suck i'm the type of person i love my own space y'all i love my own space i love my peace my quiet that can be hard you know picking up and just leaving everything behind so i have a puppy i have a dog my baby girl bailey contract in virginia i was not able to bring her because they weren't really they don't do pets so you know that was hard having to be away from my dog for three months was difficult so little things like that now if you're a black girl like me oh uh, we be needing like the hairdressers gotta be on point we can't just go sit down in anybody's chair like i know for me like i have a relaxer like i need to go to a black girl to do my hair that is familiar with black hair um so like going to all these different places and having to find a new hair salon a new nail salon a new wax girl like all these things because you won't always have the time to be flying back home to do your maintenance and your self-care appointments so having to do that away and in new cities can be really really difficult and so i always say like that's that's like a big con for me i just be like oh my god um, another con is and this hasn't happened to me too too much i've heard some really some horror stories though from other travel nurses but Travel nurses sometimes on their assignments, we do get the shorter end of the stick. There is this expectation or this attitude of like, because we're getting paid, we need to be working a little harder. Sometimes we'll get, you know, um, crazier assignments. We'll get like the problem patients or, you know, patients that have been giving everybody a harder time. I will say when you are on your assignment, you definitely want to be your biggest advocate. And that's where your recruiter comes in. Like, um your recruiter i know for my agency now i have not only my recruiter but i have a care team that actually has nurses on it so they can help me with any type of clinical questions any type of clinical concerns that i have if i feel like the hospital isn't handling it cor correctly that's what they are there for so when i tell you advocate for yourself reach out to your recruiters i remember when i was on my first assignment I was being asked to take a patient that I didn't feel safe taking because I didn't have the certain training that I needed to take care of her. She was actually pregnant and um, it was an expectation for me to do um, fetal monitoring. I don't do fetal monitoring. I deal with the babies when they out the mama's belly. I don't deal with pregnant patients. Like, we don't do that. So I wasn't comfortable, you know what I mean? So, and that's like a whole training that you actually have to go through to be able to know how to do read strips and stuff like that. So I remember having to reach out to my recruiter because I was like, I'm, I don't feel like this is okay. Like the way that I'm being asked to do this. And it's just like the pushback that I was getting um, from, you know, 
the facility it was just a lot but my recruiter handled it and everything ended up working out as it should have so definitely advocate for yourself if you feel like something is not safe speak up do not let these people play with you and it doesn't matter if i am making more money just like how i chose to change my career and go travel y'all can go do that too you will get tested and tried on your assignments and the money can't help you at that point it makes it a little bit more worth it but just remember why you started this career in in general another pro i have met some amazing 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 people traveling like the nurses other travelers that i meet on my assignments i still keep in contact with to this day you know i get cool i literally on my assignments i get cool with the clerks the pcts other nurses like i'll be cool with so many people and i always try to keep in touch because you never know in life when you will need somebody you'll never know when you know you'll have to cross paths with somebody again. i really hope that this video was informative like i said if you guys have any additional questions you can private message me on instagram if you don't have instagram i'll also leave my email in the description box but i really hope that this video helps you guys i pray that in 2023 you guys do what is best for you from one nurse to another or to a future nurse Choose yourself always. These hospitals are not loyal to us. You don't have to be loyal to them. Always do what's best for you. Always do what's best for you. And if that means changing up the career, choosing another, there's so many different things that you can do in nursing. So never feel limited to what you can do. Um, there are so many opportunities out here. And yes, I am living proof that you can do it. You know, I'm only 26 and I started travel nursing with around two and a half years of experience and now have been traveling for a year now with plans to continue so i wish you guys all the best and i will see you guys in my next video